Today on The Charge Up, football is one step away from an any 10 championship. Volleyball keeps the momentum going in their season finale. And finally, we'll preview the women's basketball season. It'll be a good one today, and it's all coming up on The Charge Up. What's up, everyone? Welcome to The Charge Up. I'm James Cassidy, and with me today is Devin Maida, Christy Geronimo, and Eric Nybro. How was your weekend, guys? It was awesome, dude. Pretty good. Glad a Charger wins this weekend. You got it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you guys had a great weekend. Let's get to the action. Chargers football are heading to the NE10 Championship. They defeated St. Anselm 49-21 and extended their win streak to eight games. Guys, what did we see from the team over the weekend that will prepare them for the championship we saw domination on all three phases of the game, especially offensively. They had a great running game going, especially with the third string stepping up when uh, Ryan McCarthy got hurt. So that was huge. And just overall good game planning and coaching by the, by the Charger football team. Yeah, overall great performance by Ajay Patterson. He's 14 for 21, 185 passing yards, four touchdowns, and he's named 80 player of the week this week. So obviously he got recognized for his great performance, and it showed throughout the whole game. Mm -hmm. Uh, coach did a great job after halftime because it was 21-14 at halftime. It was a close game, and then all of a sudden, bang, just mm -hmm. like that. It's, it's a, a blowout sloppy just first like half, that. But yep. It should have been a blowout, and it ended up in a blowout. Yeah, I think we really saw that in that third quarter where they went 21 unanswered points. Mm -hmm. that, that was just insane to see. And then, like you had mentioned, third string running back Nashir Woodson actually coming in really getting his first couple of touches of the year for the Chargers. And what does he do? Two touchdowns, yep. over 100 yards rushing, and an any 10 Rookie of the Week. That's the kind of production that really makes this team a championship contender. When you can just have guys coming off the bench yeah, and they're having best of the, in the, the entire yeah. conference. Depth is huge, especially this time of the year. You need, you need to have the next man up mentality just in case if somebody goes down. And that's what separates gr good teams from great teams is that depth. Now, I think this uh, coming up matchup against LE Post, is, I, I said previously that the assumption game was the matchup of a yeah. century, but <laughs> this is actually the matchup <laughs> yeah. of a century. Correct myself there. <laughs> now, uh, LE Post has been dominant offensively. Their quarterback is uh, number one in the league in touchdowns, and he's averaging over two, over 260 yards passing. So it's... it's, it's yeah, they're, they're a powerhouse in offense, yeah. so we're going to have to... Defense might have to play that bend, don't break, break uh, mentality. Because they're, they're, you're most likely to give up yards in this game, but you got to know you have a great offense that can keep you in this game. You just got to not give up that big play and try to create turnovers. And I know the red zone is going to be huge because we looked up earlier that the, um, we are 89% in the red zone. Mm -hmm. percentage. That's good. Yeah. And it's much better than their 72%, I believe. Yeah. So that's, that's going to be a huge factor in this game. And their de LA Post's defense is pretty good, too. They yeah. lead the league in sacks with 25, and their defensive lineman leaves the any 10 in sacks with 10 and a half. So our offensive line has to step up and try to give, mm -hmm. give Ajay some protection, help the running game out, and hopefully they'll come out on top. Talking about these two teams, what do you guys see as a score for this upcoming game against LIU Post? 31-28, New Haven Chargers. I say 27-21, Chargers. I will take the Chargers <laughs> in a, a big dub over LIU Post. I think they win by actually uh, two touchdowns. I'm kind of leaning towards a 35-28 game for the Chargers. Let's see what happens this weekend. The Chargers will travel to LIU Post for the NE10 Championship Saturday. Kickoff is scheduled for high noon. With a win, the Chargers will win their fourth NE10 Championship. Volleyball went 2-0 this weekend, defeating St. Michael's and St. Anselm to close out the regular season. Guys, what will give the team momentum as they head into the NE10 tournament? I think there's just the history that they have in the NA10 tournament will give them momentum in this uh, upcoming tournament because they're currently 21 and 4 all time in the tournament and we won six titles. So if that doesn't give you momentum, I don't know what does. I mean, th this program is, is a machine. This, they're rolling out a stopwatch, they don't ever stop, you know what I mean? <laughs> so just, it's a great way, it's a great segue into the tournament after these two great wins over the weekend. I think another big thing is going to be their first game this week, again, in the NE10 tournament, is going to come against St. Anselm, who they just played in a five-set win just a couple days ago. And I think that's actually going to be a big key for the team, seeing what they did wrong against St. Anselm and then finding ways to 
work on those areas and fix it because with the talent this team has, all it takes is a little bit of experience against a team and they'll find anywhere they can improve and they definitely will when it comes to this game on Tuesday. I expect that Robin Salters is going to have this team firing on all cylinders this uh, this Tuesday and when they're playing St. Aslam's, I think they're, you were right, they're going to fix all their mistakes they had against St. Aslam's. And I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna take it this week. I don't see why they can't. Well, I mean, we talk about dynasties in uh, pro sports and even pro, uh, not pro, college sports too, especially in football. Do you guys think um, this volleyball team is a dynasty since the past, given the history? I think under Robin Salters, they've become kind of a dynasty, especially in the East region of the NCAA. Because for as long as she's been here, this team has been a contender. There have been some really good teams around the, this, not only our conference, our region. And one constant is that the New Haven Chargers are always going to be a force, and they're always going to be a tough team to play against, especially when teams have to come to Charger Gymnasium. And they're looking for their third straight uh, tournament win. So. If you win three straight, I think that automatically qualifies you as a dynasty. And uh, so going back to the players that have been great coming into the tournament, I want to shout out uh, Callie Grayhead and Camille Garden who have really stepped up over these past past uh, last four games of the season. Callie Grayhead had 12 kills in both games, and Camille Garden had nine kills and uh, 14 kills. So obviously they're stepping up, gaining momentum coming in here, and I think they're going to perform well in this tournament. Well, let's hope, let's hope they keep the W's coming. Volleyball will play in the NE10 Championship quarterfinals Tuesday when they host St. Anselm at Charger Gym. The match is set for 7 p.m. Preseason exhibition games have started for women's basketball. In addition to Alex Kerr, who do you guys think will step up this season? I think it's Bree Pergola. She's going to be running the point this season for the Chargers, and that's what we should expect after last year. She played pretty decently in her freshman year, but she should take a big step this year in her sophomore year. I expect a lot of assists, a lot of dimes from her, and uh, a couple points in there too. I think another player that we can expect big things from is Aaliyah Cubbage. Going into her senior season, she showed last year that she can be a solid scorer at this level and against any 10 competition. I think this year she's going to be that much better, and it's really going to help this team move up in the standings. I got my eye on Micah Warmack with her size and presence uh, in the paint. Look to get some rebounds and good defense to help solidify that team. Now the team has a new coach now in, in uh, Debbie Buff. Now, how do you think she will impact the team and their success this season? I think that this was a move that is going to help the team a lot. I really do. I think that she's going to change the atmosphere and the culture there. And from a team that was losing a lot, a lot of games last year, I think that she'll help bring in this winning culture. You know, she has two championships. Um, and I think they're going to become a good team. I don't know if it's going to be this year. They do have an all-time player at the school in Alex Kerr, who is absolutely mm -hmm. phenomenal. And I think she's going to have a huge senior year. But I think it's possible. Yeah, it's possible for them to have a good year. Utilize Very the talent nice. she has and set them up in the right position to win. And, uh, and they might go through, go through some growing pains, yep. but that goes yeah. along with every new coach mm -hmm. yeah. with the team. So I think we'll see the W's come. I yeah. think Eric really brought up the big point of it's just a new culture for the women's mm -hmm. basketball team, and hopefully that culture brings wins and championships to the uh, New Haven Chargers women's basketball. Yeah, hopefully that happens, and hopefully they maintain that success throughout the whole year. Uh, the ladies lost their exhibition game 66-61 Sunday against the University of Rhode Island. They will return to action Saturday to take on Bridgeport. And now it's time for our fast break. Field Hockey extended their losing streak to seven games Saturday as they lost to American International 3-2. Men's Cross Country finished 15th in the NE10 Championships while the women's finished 12th to close out the season. Men's Basketball will get their season underway when they take on Seton Hall in an exhibition game on Friday. For your latest Chargers news and live game streaming, go to NewHavenChargers.com and for all the latest campus news, go to ChargerBulletin.com. I'm James. I'm Devin. I'm Chris. And I'm Eric. And we'll see you next week on The Charge Up.